So New York Extreme missed the finals by a few seconds at the Sunshine State Major. They missed it by a few seconds and then it went into overtime with Dynasty and lost. So let's figure out, let's see how they're preparing for this event. They're 4-0, they're going to Sunday. Let's see how they're preparing. Let's see what they're talking about. And let's see what, let's see what they're going to put together. Dude, did it take a second for it to hit you? Jesus. Yeah. Shot the nice. <laughs> Look, he's pointing at him like he's eliminated. <laughs> Don't mess with Big Daddy. <laughs> I can see me in the Albany shooting and then Terry just turning and go, hey, see, hey, oh. I got to go pee. Need a holder? Yes, please. Timmy, you're up. Oh, he's definitely drinking off. <laughs> Who's got the lotion for Rich? <laughs> <laughs> he's going to come out of full power. Uh, he's going to come out of full power. That was fast. What did we do well the first match today? Communication. Shut down the Viper. What did we do bad the first event? The first match? Today was much better team ball, I think, than yesterday. One thing, and I noticed this like almost instantly, like playing the back center. Like I could see all you guys, like what you're doing. You guys were so focused on wanting to beat the Bears that you cared more about winning yeah, than, than executing. You know what I'm saying? So what I saw, what I saw was one on five paintball, but everybody is still kind of doing their role. You know what I'm saying? Instead of like focus on executing and like being a team and going down the field together, like what we're doing well all the tournament, that was the biggest like thing I saw, like for the Brooklyn thing, yeah. And I kind of got sucked into it too. Like yeah, I was guilty yeah. of it. So yes. that was a that was a vibe. I'm parking. Yeah, we all really want to be heat. So focus on executing. We have to win the breakout, right? Mm -hmm. So what do we want to do? When they do that double back center, he he stays there a long time. I mean, I'm pretty sure everyone here saw him Jedi mind trick a ref, convincing him like a shot on his head is not really a shot, right? So like, sit there, be able to put the pressure back. Oh my like, God! Wait, 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 that's whole fucking problem right here. Fucking shark <laughs> mode, dude. I'll leave right now. Whoa. I'll leave right now. <laughs> I got hot hey, hey, can we focus up, please? <laughs> Sorry. I'm going to ask the guys on Albany or whatnot, um, being able to put pressure. You know how we were able to capitalize on the 3 2, do double back center, and then slash. The Utah guy flashes a lot quicker, usually within like that first like two seconds. But the Cali is kind of a read and go to Cali. Chad George is always going to go. They're always going to go Albany. And I feel like they put their guns on the snake side first and then switch over to the Dorito. Because what they were successful at shooting was the Panda, Albany. God. I couldn't wear it. Y'all like never got track on that in practice or what? Good call, Pat. Way unless, to point that. Unless that's like. <laughs> it's impossible for anyone to shoot me going that far. No, I'm saying I don't. I don't. I haven't faced this all. And a lot of what they were doing again, we all saw it, right? 10, 10, 10, D corner, D corner, D corner. It really just depends on who the fuck we want to pick on or just who it what it is. So it's at this point we go forward into our lockdown iron triangle. And then for me, the way I interpret how we consider the triangle is that like. We kind of had CJ at home, Glory on an island, and then we let our snake side develop, get into position, right? Josh Holtnot goes up to the Pentagon, sets down, and we're in the snake 50. CJ can say, hey guys, uh, stay alive. Corey and I are gonna go fuck some people up on the Dorito side and two-man operation down there, right? We're in the snake, and we think he's in the panda. Roll to that fucking 50, wrap around and see that fucking Albany and back center shot. You're gonna, if, if there's still two in the back center and you're in the 50 snake, you're gonna fucking smoke that point. Sit back, relax a little bit, fucking maybe we push up the middle a little earlier. White House or fucking New York, whatever. It's very back and forth. Our Albany and our Dorito back center need to shoot the safety cut in front of the 30 because Moorhead and Fedorov are rounding the corners. They're looking for the baby run. And if there's no paint in front of the 30, they're going to go straight to the 30. So we have to shoot the safety cuts. And especially if we're in the panda off the rip, that that, that early cross is going to be huge. That's an honest question. Do we put in 20% more effort today than we did yesterday? Yes or no? And what do we need to do tomorrow? tomorrow. Put another fucking 20%, right? So whatever that felt like, the difference between Friday and Saturday, right? We need to have that same feeling, right? Intensity, intelligence, fucking preparedness, all that shit. 20% better. Either we're going to fucking win this tournament tomorrow, yeah or we're gonna learn what mistakes that we've made so that are keeping us from winning this tournament, right? It's a win either fucking way. We're either gonna win this tournament or we're gonna learn what we need to learn to go win the next tournament, right? Yep. So let's make sure we get some fucking sleep tonight and we're focused up on exactly what we need to do, okay? Yep. Danny, what else? When he went into an overtime, it went D corner, double back center, Albany looking deep. We know that that's their comfort bread and butter. That's probably just bread and butter. That's their bread. And like sitting back, even when they're up on bodies and kind of close on points, like not kind of pushing them. Well, they don't die sloppy, right? They don't close sloppy. They don't make bad decisions, bad gun fights, right? We're gonna have to play really fucking tight paintball. We're gonna have to stay the fuck alive. The first three points are gonna be fucking crucial in this match. If we don't make any mistakes in this first three points, we're gonna be in a really good position.
position. Every time we make a mistake, they're going to be an opportunity to capitalize. One more thing I wanted to bring up. <clears throat> there was kind of a little flaw today, right? Over on the uh, snake side a little bit and the order of operations. You have someone in the Pentagon, but he's looking wider here, right? I would prefer someone be in the God because we missed uh, the California coming out to the God, coming out to the Panda yeah. multiple times. Yeah, God is where No eyes. We have to have zone control. We have to have it cross up. Dude, j just long enough in the Pentagon to turn around and say something to the guy behind you. He looks back and that guy got ran, his gun's not up, he gets hit, and the guy behind him in Albany gets hit. So no one's checking on you in the lane, no one's gunfighting. If it's just a constant line of paint, that's a lot different than a gun guy gunfighting, right? With how much attention you have to put to that fucking gap. And if you're shooting a gap and there's nobody putting any energy back, look, look let's look and fucking change that up. Go forward and pick the same gap up from a closer position. Work together side to side to just constantly move down the field, apply more pressure as you don't fucking die. We just need to be more cognizant of how uh, your move in relation to everyone else, how it affects everybody else that's already posted up. If we were just put like a 10% more effort into that, you know, we'd be cool. Hey, it's just uh, go out and play our game. We're the top dog for a reason. We played, played great today, played great yesterday, but we can do better. Saw what happened last time, we made a mistake against Dynasty. One fucking little mistake, ran through the middle. Can't lose that zone, we can't drop that those zones on this field. Federoff will exploit that. Guys like Brian Moorhead will exploit that. Those good players, Chad George, will exploit those zones that we drop. Right? Four and oh, we went when I wake up first thing in the morning, I'm emotionless because we've already won this next game, queued up, last event, you know what I'm saying? We have yet to win to go to top two. So that's our next goal at this point. So just laser focus, that's all I ask. Well, then just do your job. I love, it. I love it, man. I'm just I'm real proud of all you guys. I know this is like a first for a lot of people, myself included, and uh, I'm just excited to go forward with you guys. <laughs> what happened to us on Sunday last tournament, right? Like, remembering those moments, those little mistakes that we made, understanding that we're obviously going to be in that same position tomorrow, and remember those moments and do everything we can and not make that mistake again. Let's not all just be the guy. Let's be the fucking team that goes out there and fucking wins this shit. It's on us, guys. Let's go get this shit. Seriously believe, like, when you're going to sleep tonight, fucking envision us with that fucking trophy. Envision us fucking looking each other in our, in our eyes and having fun and fucking taking what the fuck's ours. That shit got taken from us last event. It's not going to happen again. Play with your fucking hearts tomorrow. Everything you fucking got in your body. You understand that? You leave everything on the fucking field tomorrow. No. Everything you got. Listen, one thing I do know about Fuck paintball. Corey. Oh, Corey. Sorry, Corey. <laughs> Get fucked. <laughs> All right. You Corey. 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 Fucking play not to lose tomorrow. Perfect. Play to fucking win. You guys deserve. Don't that. stick your fucking dick in the ground. Hunker down and just fucking sit there. Be proactive. Look for the fucking opportunity. Don't wait for it to come to you. Make it fucking happen and play to fucking win. That's it. I can tell you right now. If we want to win, we have to fucking take it. We want respect, we have to take it. Because all those motherfuckers are out there trying to beat us to the same fucking goal, right? So crush those motherfuckers, right? Bring it in, let's go. Proxy. <laughs> 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 yeah. I love you guys. We got the fucking opportunity of a lifetime tomorrow, right? We've been fucking dreaming about this for your little fucking kids, all that hard work, all those sacrifices. Team on three. One, two, three. Two. So we just saw it there. Rich had his arms crossed, his nostrils were flared. You know, we, it's kind of unclear about how he feels about that meeting. So let's just see how they do tomorrow.